It is Wednesday, April the 12th, otherwise known as the final night of the NBA's regular season as the playoffs get started on Saturday. So a lot of teams preparing for their Vegas vacation. Other teams looking ahead to their first round playoff matchup. Really the most meaningful games tonight are the ones that involve the Miami Heat. I believe they're playing Washington, the Indiana Pacers and the Brooklyn Nets, and Chicago is playing Atlanta, I believe. Because only two of those three teams, the Pacers, Bulls, and Heat, will make the playoffs in the Eastern Conference. But we've decided to look elsewhere in search of profit tonight. Have identified three games that we think are pretty good opportunities. Would like to go through them now quickly. Let's start in Memphis, where the Grizzlies host the Dallas Mavericks. Memphis is seven-point favorite at BetSafe, 193 the total in this game. Now, the Mavs have been struggling. They've lost five straight games, playing the second night of a back-to-back -back here. They've obviously been eliminated from playoff contention. However, however, in their loss to Denver last night, they were without Harrison Barnes and Wesley Matthews, two of their best players. Both of those guys expected to be in the lineup tonight. And you look at Memphis, the Grizzlies, they haven't been playing too well themselves. Plus, they might not be ready to play in this game. They might not be focused on the Mavericks. Don't take my word for it. Ask their head coach, David Fisdale, who said last night, and I quote, I can't waste one minute preparing for Dallas when we've got the Spurs coming up. And yes, the Grizzlies do have the Spurs in the first round of the playoffs again. That gets started this weekend. Going to be a tough matchup for them, but it doesn't make me feel, feel real good about a Memphis bet when you hear their coach saying they're not going to spend one minute preparing for the Mavs. And remember, this Memphis team, as we mentioned, they've been struggling themselves. They've lost four of their past five games. Their issue, as it has been all season, has been scoring. The Grizzlies, 29th, next to last in the NBA in points scored. You look at their last four losses, they produce just 90, 189, and 103 points. And that game where they scored 103 was against the Los Angeles Lakers, one of the worst defensive teams in the entire NBA. The Mavs, on the other hand, fourth in the NBA in points allowed this season. So you see a really low total here of 193. Look, this is going to be an ugly, low-scoring game. Frankly, I think seven points might be too many in this situation. The Mavs, a well-coached team under Rick Carlisle. I do expect them to play hard. Again, we do expect both Barnes and Wesley Matthews back in the lineup tonight. I think Dallas gives Memphis a scare here, might win this game outright. Again, as David Fisdale said, it's just not that important to the Grizzlies. So I think seven points, too many in this situation. I like the Dallas side of it. Moving on now to Boston, where the Celtics host the Milwaukee Bucks. Boston, a big 13.5 point favorite at BetSafe. 208.5 the total here. This is a big game for the Celtics because they win and they would wrap up the number one seed in the Eastern Conference. First time since 2008 that they will have secured the number one seed. Facing a Milwaukee team here that is going to be a playoff team, but the Bucks are not going to look like themselves in this game. Four of their veteran players, four of their best players, probably four of their best five or six best players have not made the trip here. Giannis Antetokounmpo, their single best player, Matthew Dellavedova, Chris Middleton, another key part of what they do, and Tony Snell. All four of these guys will not be playing in this game, so the Bucks will be trotting out a roster of backups. And look, in their last four games, they have scored 89, 90, 89, and 79 points. Milwaukee, not a great offensive team anyway. Without those four guys we mentioned, I'm just not sure how they're going to be able to put the ball in the bucket with any consistency. And the Celtics, they have been playing well. We know they're good on both ends of the floor. As we said, they need this game to wrap up the top seed in the Eastern Conference. I think they win and win big. I like Boston to cover that 13.5 point number. Moving on now, final game I'll be involved in on this Wednesday, April the 12th. What about the LA Clippers hosting the Sacramento Kings? Clippers, a 16 point favorite at BetSafe, 211.5 the total here. I'll tell you what, if you're looking for a dark horse team heading into these playoffs, I mean, maybe they don't qualify as a dark horse, but I think they do uh, based on the way they've been viewed over the past couple of months. Nobody has really viewed the Clippers as a serious championship contender over these past couple of months, but it's time to start looking at them that way. The Clippers might be playing as well as anyone in the NBA right now. They have won six straight and 10 of 12. Finally, their core is healthy. Their big three of Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, and DeAndre Jordan all those guys fully healthy and playing great basketball. Their last four wins have come by double digits, including a 29-point win over the Houston Rockets on Monday in their last game. And the Clippers need this game tonight because a win, and they would 
host a first round playoff game. They would be the four seed against the Utah Jazz. They would, they would have home court advantage in their first round playoff series against Utah, a loss, and the Jazz will get home court advantage in that series. And the Jazz are a tough team. That is going to be a great series, Clippers-Jazz. So this is an important game for the Clippers. They need the win facing the Sacramento Kings. And look, we mentioned the Milwaukee Bucks are going to be playing a roster of backups uh, when they go into Boston tonight. Well, look, the Kings have basically been operating with a roster of backups ever since the DeMarcus Cousins trade. You look at the Sacramento roster, it is ugly right now. A bunch of role players and, as I said, backups on other teams. Now, the Kings have been playing hard here lately. They're 5-4 and four in their last nine games. But look, the coach, they have shut down some of their better players. Dave Jorger has shut down some of their reliable veterans. Aaron Afalo, Tyreek Evans, Darren Collison, Costa Kufos. None of those guys will be playing tonight going on the road to face again. A Clippers team that's playing maybe the best basketball of any team in the NBA. And as we said, the Clippers have been annihilating teams lately. 29-point win over Houston on Monday. Four straight double-digit wins. They need this one here tonight. Look, this is going to be a glorified scrimmage in the Staples Center. The Clippers will win this one, and it will not be close. I think they'll probably cover that 16-point number heading into the fourth quarter, through three quarters. So, look, I like the Clippers here. I like the Clippers big. There you have it, folks. Those are my thoughts for the final night of the NBA regular season here on Wednesday, April the 12th. I like the Dallas Mavericks, plus seven in Memphis. I like the Boston Celtics to cover 13 and a half at home against the Milwaukee Bucks. And I like the Clippers to cover 16 against the Sacramento Kings. I wish you best of luck no matter what you decide to do tonight, folks, just so long as your interests don't conflict with my interests. Enjoy the games, and we'll see you for the playoffs.